Hello, it's Mr. Romain here, Head of Art and Design at Saltash Community School. I'm just going to talk you through the Art and Design GCSE course in years 10 and 11. The first question is, is why choose Art and Design for GCSE? Well, Art and Design is designed to encourage learners to develop knowledge, skills and understanding along with creativity and imagination. The Art GCSE gives all pupils the opportunity to take a personal interest in why art and design matters and also to be inspired and challenged through exciting and creative insights throughout the two year course. The GCSE allows all pupils to experiment and take risks within their own work whilst developing their own style. The GCSE course is split into two areas or otherwise known as components. There's component one, which is the portfolio. This is covered for the whole of year 10 and half of year 11. And component two, which is the externally set task, or in other words, the exam. Component one, the portfolio, which we will start in the beginning of year 10, students will produce a portfolio of practical work showing their personal response to a starting point, a brief, a scenario, or a stimulus. The portfolio may be presented in appropriate formats for the specification title that they are following and the chosen area of study. This can include sketchbooks, digital presentations, mounted sheets, maquettes, prototypes, animated work, scale models or illustrated written work. The portfolio must provide evidence that the student has met all four assessment objectives. Component two is the external set task. Students respond to one of five themes. Each theme has a range of written and visual starting points and stimuli. Students research, they plan and they develop ideas for their responses to the option that they have chosen. They then, from the prep work, have a realisation within a 10 hour supervised time period. Now the AOs or assessment objectives are as follows. In the coursework unit and the exam, you need to make sure that you are covering all four assessment objectives. AO1 or assessment objective one is the development of ideas. This is explored through artist research, analyzation, annotation, and the development of their own ideas. AO2 is the refinement, the materials, exploring how materials work with each other and what best suits you as an artist. AO3 is the recording, and that's the drawing, the presenting of ideas, how you take a primary resource and then make it into a piece of a final outcome. And then finally, the AO4, which is your final piece itself. How do you present your final ideas? How is they developed as they planned through? Is there a connection with the artist? When you start the Art GCSE in Year 10, you start with your coursework unit. The coursework unit will last for the whole of Year 10 and half of Year 11. You'll be given a topic to study, and through that topic, you'll cover the four AOs. We start with drawing, and in drawing, we explore the use of mark making and analytical work. From that, we then move on to art history. This will give you the opportunity to research an artist that can then influence an outcome. We then move on to materials. We look at how materials can really enhance what you produce as a final piece, and we explore the way materials work. That can range from painting through to printmaking, three-dimensional design, or even graphics. From those three AOs, we then complete a final outcome. Now, one of the projects you might be given is still life. Here are a few examples of what our still life final pieces may look like. Another project could be portraiture. This project enables you to look at your own self portrait, create through mark making, painting and exploring material, using an artist as a reference to then form an outcome. Another project that you might be given is landscape. Because we live in such a beautiful part of the world, some pupils decide to choose landscapes as their topic. Now, there's nothing stopping you at the very end of your um, study to then combine different elements. 
you could be looking at landscape and still life together, or you could be looking at portraiture and surrealism. You can choose where your final outcome leads you, and the teacher will lead you through the three AOs to get to your final outcome. After your coursework is finished, you start your controlled assessment. The controlled assessment will start in the January of year 11. You'll be given eight weeks, and after that eight weeks, you'll then prepare yourself for a 10-hour final piece. You'll be given an exam paper with 10 questions. You'll then pick one of those questions to then make a study of work. You'll cover the three assessment objectives, drawing, materials, and art history. And from that, it would enhance and influence your final outcome. At the end of your exam, we will then moderate your coursework and your exam work. We will then combine the scores together and send them to the exam board to be moderated. From that, they will determine your final grade. Now, after GCSE, you can stay at Saltash to study A-level art. We offer a fine art course, which is mainly drawing, painting and printmaking. But you can also go to art school to then study other disciplines within the creative sector. Once you've left art school, you can work in the creative sector in many fields of visual arts. They might include fashion and textiles, photography, multimedia, spatial design, architecture or gaming design. So finally, why study art and design for GCSE? Well, there are two routes. The first route is that you really enjoy art and design and you want to work in the creative industries. If that is the case, we'll support you all the way through your GCSE, enabling you to build on a portfolio ready for either A-levels with us or art school at the age of 17. Or the second thing is, is that you really enjoy the processes within art and design, and that will help you um, further your studies in other subject areas, ready for either college or university or the workplace at 16. Thank you ever so much. If you have any questions, uh, please contact me. I'm Mr. Romain, Head of Art and Design here at Saltash Community School.